Welcome back to another episode here on Average Jays Camping. Uh, it is Friday morning. I'm getting ready to head into work, but I am all packed up. I am way overpacked for this weekend because I keep all my camping gear in the Pontiac. I transfer what I need over to the Honda for that trip, and then I go camping. But since I'm going so close, uh, the Pontiac can make this trip, so I am bringing every single piece of camping gear that I own, just about. Uh, there's a couple items at home. Took out my bug lamp. Don't need that. There's no bugs in November. Um, but anyway, headed to somewhere new this weekend. Headed to Mount Brooks of Wisconsin in Salem, Wisconsin. Uh, it's about halfway between Kenosha and Lake Geneva, roughly. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's an hour dead south of where I work. So it'll be a nice quick trip to the campsite tonight. It'll be a nice quick trip home on Sunday. And it's close enough to Kenosha where my buddy Cliff can come out Saturday and help me kill some beers. So uh, on top of a new place this weekend, it is also my 72-hour vegan challenge. So I will not be eating any animal products, no meat, no dairy, uh, no honey, none of that until Monday, probably at lunch because I'm not a breakfast eater. Uh, read all the ingredients, my coffee creamer is vegan, the chocolate sauce I use is vegan. Um, so I had two bratwurst last night for dinner. That was the last bit of meat I will eat until Monday at lunch. So, I've got to head in here. It is almost time to start my work day, but uh, we're going out. Uh, temps are looking like uh, lows in the 30s, highs in the upper 40s, so it'll be a nice, cozy, hoodie weekend around the campfire. But uh, we'll see you when I get this eight and a half hours of bump and grind over with. Stay tuned. All right, that is the end of the workday, 4.31 p.m., in the car, engine running, heading an hour south. Uh, got most of my shopping done on my lunch break, so beer has been had, water has been had, Pedialyte's, orange juice. Um, yeah, so like I said, 100% vegan weekend, no animal products, none of that. I uh, got my propane, that was what I forgot, propane exchange done, um, so we got it, and my phone is ringing, I got to hit the road, but uh, stay tuned, we'll be back. All right, guys, uh, we're here, down here in Salem, Wisconsin, uh, just got set up, got, uh, you can't see it, but my wintertime ice fishing shanty is right behind me got the propane heater in there and actually it's running right now I should probably go turn that off because I'm gonna be out here in front of the fire for the next several hours um, added surprise for the weekend um, I forgot my camping chair that has a foot rest any of you that have watched my winter camping uh, that's how I sleep in the ice fishing shanty because it's five by five by five and I'm short but I'm still five seven so can't quite lay down um, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to tonight because I got a tarp in there I got my two yoga mats in there and since there's no floor in the ice fishing shanty uh, I think I already said tarp but I'm gonna lay a tarp down lay my bedding down, got my old crappy uh, sleeping bag that I'll lay down for another added layer, and then my good sleeping bag uh, along with the propane heater. So cowboy camping with shelter, can you give me that one? Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, so anyway, it shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to lay corner to corner and be able to stretch out. Um, but I'll make sure I drink enough to where it doesn't matter and I'll sleep through the night. So, without further ado, go ahead, ice cold Coors Banquet, we'll get this weekend started. Stick around. Alright guys, random uh, 
1049 update Friday night. Uh, I'm a few beers in. Normally drink more on a Friday night, but when it's cold, it's hard to put down cold beer. And if I wasn't sitting in front of this fire right now, you could see my breath. I think it's it's kind of cold to get get up and pee. <laughs> and, uh, first impressions of this spot. Uh, overall, so far so good. Uh, I got here when it was dark, so everything since I've been here has been lit by my headlamp. Um, I've noticed a couple things. There is a train very close that I haven't heard in a while, but it went by quite a bit. Um, not a deal breaker for me. Um, so I got my tunes going or I'm watching something on my phone on the tripod or whatever. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, and I'm not sure about this one. I haven't heard from them. They haven't complained about me. But I'm going to pick my tripod up really quick here. And let's see if I can catch this. Their house isn't very far behind me. Um, and I'm not going to make any judgment calls yet because it is fall. Um, the leaves have fallen. So there may be in the summertime some type of foliage blockage behind me. But it, it is, uh, you know, a little weird having the house that close right behind me. But again, uh, I met them earlier. They seem super cool. They're about my age. I'll say younger um, as a compliment. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sure they're younger. Not much younger, but younger than me. Um, so, met them when I first arrived. Hadn't seen them since. Um, gonna have to hit them up tomorrow for more firewood. Uh, but, you know, paid 20 bucks for the weekend. I got 20 bucks worth of firewood. But I'm not a 20 bucks last the whole weekend firewood kind of guy. I am a uh, $20 a night firewood kind of guy. Um, so, but other than that, I'm just chilling, sitting here in front of the fire. It's not quite dinner time yet, but I'm going to start thinking about cracking into that uh, 72 hour emergency vegan backpackers pantry kit that I ordered. Um, I'll do one briefly tonight when I do eat, but tomorrow morning we'll go through the whole kit together minus whatever one of the ones I decide to eat tonight. So, but I'll save the empty pack deal. Other than that, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, dinner time update. It is 12.58 Friday night. It is currently 29 degrees where I am at right now. Uh, got a good fire going, as you can see. Uh, my lantern is also helping me out with the lighting at this point. But uh, let's talk about what's for dinner, huh? shall we? So I picked one that uh, comes in a double in this case. So if this review sucks, I've got another one I'm gonna make a totally separate video about, but I went with the pad thai this evening. Uh, this one was kind of neat. Like you opened it up, you get rid of the oxygen absorber. Uh, then there's a little tube of peanut butter in there and a little packet of peanuts. And so you add the peanut butter, then you pour the hot water in, do all the stirring. At the end, you add the peanuts. So the lighting sucks. So if you know what, if you want to look inside the bag, look at the video I make when I make the next one at home because I got a 72 hour meal but I'm not actually out here 72 hours so I'm going to have some leftovers I'm going to make better videos of those but anyway um, 
you will be able to see here, hopefully, that as I promised, we'll go through the whole kit tomorrow, but this is a uh, vegan. I'm not eating any animal products until Monday. Um, or, you know what, maybe a little bit after that. Who knows, I'm not gonna sell myself to eat meat or dairy on Monday. I just may wanna eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all day. Don't judge. Let's whirl it. First impressions, a little soupier than I'd like in a pad thai. You know, normally it's, well, it's not soupy, but. Hmm. I can definitely taste the lime in this. It's very lime heavy. Mm. And then, of course, the peanuts. But overall, you know, other than it being really soupy, maybe I added too much water. Calls for uh, 480 milliliters, I think, one and three quarter cups. And I did the math on that, and that turns out to 14 fluid ounces. Well, my beer can's only 12. So I added 12 and then just guessed on the next two. Maybe I put three in there. Oops. Uh, when I make the next one for the actual video covering this meal, I'll have a measuring cup and we'll get that part right. We'll see you in the morning. I'm hungry. Ah, good morning. Uh, it is, well, Saturday morning. Where did I put... Oh. It is 9.37. It is currently 36 degrees. Gonna have a high today of 50. We'll see. Um, slept well last night for the most part. Um, cowboy camping really isn't my thing at my age but I can do it it can be done um, it is a tight fit in that uh, ice fishing shanty no uh, you guys have seen that before uh, they say five by five by five but I don't think it is because corner to corner I was still had my head up against it and my feet were up against it um, down at the bottom so I'm thinking you know maybe it's five and a half feet diagonal which obviously if you know math that's not going to be five by five by five so but it is what it is I'm alive I survived I got some sleep day two it's Saturday but it is breakfast time uh, I was going to go through the entire meal kit that I've got sitting here but I think that's going to be so in depth that I'll just make a complete separate video so watch for that one probably upload that one a, a week after I upload this little montage here um, maybe a couple weeks I don't know exactly when I'm gonna because I'm gonna make several videos I've got a lot of things to cover this weekend got a lot of things to cover today uh, so it's gonna be a video making day but first things first it's breakfast time so for breakfast today peanut butter and banana oatmeal and once again so everyone sees it I am staying true to the 72 hour vegan challenge drinking Pedialyte this morning vegan there is no animal products in this beer is vegan orange juice is vegan so we're, we're staying true to it. Um, like I said, I'm going to go in depth with all of these. Uh, this kit actually comes with three of these in the 72 hour emergency vegan kit. So if you're a vegan and you're in an emergency for three days, you're going to eat the same thing for breakfast every day. So again, don't need to go in depth because I'm going to do that later. Uh, the one downfall here is add one cup of boiling water, which is eight fluid ounces. And you guys have seen me make these before. I measure everything with a beer can when I'm camping. 
So now I've got to try and guess eight ounces, just like I had to guess last night on 14 ounces. Maybe I should look into getting like a metal measuring cup <laughs> for camping. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the mountain house meals that I normally pick up from Walmart are a little bit more beer can friendly. Uh, a lot of those are 12 fluid ounces of water. Almost like, hey, they thought ahead, like, hey, this person's going to be camping. They're probably going to be drinking beer. Let's make our menu 12 ounces so they can just use the beer. But Backpacker's Pantry, not so much. But I'm going to go ahead and heat this up, <coughs> rehydrate it, have some breakfast, and we'll check back in with you a little later. Stay tuned. 6.30 Saturday update. Um, Cliff was here for a few hours. We drank many a beers. You've seen it in past videos. It's what we do. And uh, Cliff's a great friend of mine, but there is just an extra special cleansing, mental cleansing that happens when him and I hang out. Like it, it's like a full body reset. Like, you know. Reset the factory settings. Something like that. I don't know what it is. It is... I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's what I needed. So... Anyway, just chilling by the fire at this point. 621. Um, I have not eaten since the uh, banana oatmeal. So I guess it's just going to be dinner tonight. Um get enough calories out of my vegan beer and my vegan orange juice beer mosas all day long um, but yeah that's where we're at here at Mount Brooks in Salem Wisconsin it peace of quiet now <laughs> but a train will be coming by soon that's all right so I'm gonna turn my tunes back on stick around Saturday night, 9.45 update. Uh, it is currently 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I don't know what that is, Celsius. I'm pretty sure all my viewers are still in America. Thank you to the 50 that tuned in. <laughs> all right, it's, uh, it's dinner time now here at uh, Mount Brooks of Wisconsin and I opted to go with one of the doubles um, we're gonna go with the uh, three sisters southwestern something I can't pronounce and beans my wife told me how to pronounce this word I don't remember how to pronounce that word I'm gonna say quinoa and that's wrong but I sounded it out because I read it so give me some type of credit and uh, here, here's a blind squirrel catching a nut once in a while. Um, this one, 12 ounces. So I can measure all the water that needs to go in it with a beer can. Uh, I used a beer bottle, but same thing, 12 ounces, 12 ounces, whatever. So Mountain House is kind of better at that, but Backpacker's Pantry does have one that takes one bottle of beer or one can of beer amount of water to make it so oh yeah um i really need more three-day weekends it's uh these are nice these are nice to get away these are nice to just get out in nature and reset you know regardless if there's trains or whatever you know just to get away from the normal bump and grind of everyday life but, you know, oh, you went camping for the weekend. No, I went camping for a day because I get there Friday night. I get to enjoy Friday night. Okay, I go camping for a day and a half. So I get to enjoy, you know, Friday night. Then I got all day Saturday. But tomorrow when I get up, all I got to do is pack up my outside living room and head home. Go right back to work on Monday bullshit <laughs> anyway 
Um, yeah, so that's where we're at here. Still going vegan. Still going vegan. Finished off a bottle of orange juice with beer mosas. So that's cashed. Um, again, beer is vegan. Drank a lot of that. And uh, still munching down the backpacker's pantry. Vegan meals. We'll see you in the morning. Good Sunday morning, everyone. It is 9.37, 46 degrees outside. And it's time to pack up and head home. Man, these weekends are too short sometimes. Um, a lot of fun was had. A lot of fun was had. A lot of normals. A lot of new things. Uh, obviously, still staying true to the 72-hour vegan challenge. Uh, I'm not going to have any breakfast this morning. Uh, I am going to get home and have the Katmandu curry for lunch. Uh, and then probably the chana masala for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, uh, Friday night started off pretty normal. Got here, had a few beers, watched game one of the, excuse me, MLW World Series. I won't spoil you on that one. You can go ahead and check it out yourself. Uh, then, of course, Cliff stopped by yesterday. Uh, had a small talk with Matt, the owner here. Uh, the hip camping is all of his wife's thing, but he stopped by for a few minutes and uh, chit-chatted for a little while. Uh, there is a dog on the property. His name is Everett. He's a big red dog. Uh, he stopped by Friday night for a little while, and he stopped by last night for a couple pets. Uh, he doesn't stick around long. He's too busy roaming around and making sure the coyotes are staying away so but other than that we'll definitely return to this place um you can check out again i'm not sure how i'm gonna post these chronologically but there is a site tour of course coming up or i've already posted it who knows i haven't i still haven't decided which order i'm gonna put them up yet um so there is a there is a site tour if you want to check it out but other than that, I need to uh, start getting wrapped up here. Uh, like I said, it's 9.37, probably 9.38 by now. Um, but get wrapped up, hopefully get out of here by 10.30. Uh, Cliff accidentally forgot his chair, but he's on the way home, so I'm going to drop that off real quick and then uh, hopefully get home in time for noon football. Uh, forgot about the Frankfurt-Germany game, but... I don't have any fantasy players in that game, nor do I really care about the two teams that are playing, so we can get home for the noon games and be just fine. So normally this is where I would wrap it up and call it a weekend, but since I still got two more meals of the vegan challenge, we will see you when I get home. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this weekend's video up. Uh, it's about 2.05. I've been home a couple hours now. Um, getting some lunch ready here. Having the Katmandu curry for lunch. And in a few hours, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up dinner with the chana masala. Um, my wife will finish off the oatmeal ones. I'm not a big fan of oatmeal. She likes it, so... Uh, she's going to finish those off, which is going to leave me with a pad tie, and then the uh, three sisters word I can't pronounce left, uh, which I'll use in future camping trips. Uh, it won't be 100% vegan, but having a vegan meal every once in a while, nothing wrong with that. Uh, as far as snacks go for the night, my wife picked up some bananas, so staying true to the vegan for 72 hours. Uh, it will be over, though, in the morning. Because I'm going to drink this on the way to work. I foolishly bought this uh, when I stopped a quick trip on Friday. Because I always have a monster coffee. Didn't think about it. But I did read the label. And it does contain milk. So this would have been no go on the vegan. So I also 
inadvertently went coffee free this weekend too um it's a good thing i did pick up those pedialytes or i would have been stuck with just plain water but you can see it's not open so i stayed true to the vegan um but yeah uh, uh, <laughs> After everything is all said and done, uh, it, it wasn't horrible. I'm not dying. I don't feel ill. I don't feel weak. Um, so, not that I was expecting any of those things, but uh, I know a lot of people I speak to that aren't vegan, that really don't understand the vegan diet, um, consider it unhealthy to a certain extent, or consider it, you know, not fit, because we're meat eaters. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could do this, no problem. Uh, I'd get bored real easy, and there are some foods that I like that aren't vegan. Like, I like milk. So, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, stick around. I made a few videos this weekend that will all get posted up here in the next couple of weeks. And I am contemplating Thanksgiving weekend for my next trip uh, but that will completely depend on the weather because uh, snow I will do I don't want to do cold rain though uh, being cold and wet does not sound like a good time so that is pending the weather obviously I can look around I've got lots of different spots uh, that I can go to I could go to somewhere new I could go back to Mount Brooks where I was at that was a great spot um, nice and easy to get to after dinner uh, on Thanksgiving Day, I could just zip down there and hell my nephew lives in Muskego So it's probably only like a half hour drive from where he's at So but again, that'll be determined upon the weather now I've got to get back on the couch Because this one has waited for me to get home for two days and she has not left my side since I've got home so Gonna go give her the attention she so needs. Thanks for watching.